हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल शाह सर क्लासेस एंड एवर शाइन कोचिंग सेंटर आई एम शाह फैसल सर हियर माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस फॉर योर अपकमिंग बोर्ड एग्जाम ऑफ क्लास 10th कर्नाटका स्टेट बोर्ड एसएसएलसी दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू द इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस रिगार्डिंग द चैप्टर क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन as these questions are very important for your upcoming board exam and i request all the students to once go through these all the questions as these questions are very important and you and you can expect the questions similar to this in your upcoming board exam in this we have collected the very important so from the very important sources we have collected the questions and also in this you can see your previous year question papers and the questions which you can expect for your upcoming board exam so this is a complete package of the quadratic equation and my dear students this is the part 1 video regarding this chapter again in part 2 of this video we will give you the rest of the statement based questions regarding this chapter first question write the standard form of linear equation pure quadratic equation and affected quadratic equation it is also called as quadratic equation you should know the standard form of these three equations next solve the equation by factorization method i have given here four options you have to solve these all four options next solve for x you have to find the value of x and the equation is given as 2 into x square minus 1 is equals to x into 1 minus x solve that again you have to solve the given equation solve again you need to solve the given equation okay if the equation as you can see here 3x minus 4 by root of 3x this 3x is under the same root okay root of 3x plus 2 is equals to 2 plus root of 3x minus 2 by 2 then find the value of x Next, for the equation one forty three equals x square minus one. Find the value of x. Similarly, if b is equals to root three into a square by four, solve for a and also find the value of a. If b is equals to sixteen root three, then solve the equation by quadratic formula method. As you can see here, we have given n number of questions. Means we have given all the varieties of questions regarding the formula method. Okay, the method is same. the formula is same but you can see some in some questions in some of the given questions the starting way how you can convert this into standard form okay this is a different part and also the calculation differs if you solve these all questions then you will understand the calculation part how you have to do it because at the time of exam if you get any questions similar to this you should not get confused that is the reason i request you to solve once before you face your upcoming board exam or your preparatory exam is this clear and my dear students still if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel shah sir classes kindly do subscribe it and click the bell icon and select all okay still if you have not liked our session or the class you can click the like button and after watching this complete video share this video with your all friends and also with your classmates and then and a important message for you all the admissions are opened in our coaching institute for the next year 11th and 12th and also the from class 6 to class 10 standard we do have branches in tanneri road and shivaji nagar okay and this is the contact number 9964257448 this is my respective contact number if you have any doubts you can contact to me or whatsapp to me on this number and already we are running with the crash course for class 10 students for this year batch if any students are interested for the crash course you can contact to us and collect the details okay next question find the roots of the equation by completing the square method as these are the four options we have given you can just solve try to solve these four options if you can do it it is well and good Next, write the discriminant of the equation a x square plus b x plus c is equals to zero. They are asking you to find the discriminant. Is this clear? What is the discriminant of the given equation? Next, discuss the nature of the roots. It's a two mark question. 
okay they are asking you to discuss the nature of the roots and next discuss the nature of the roots of the given equation discuss the nature of the roots okay so i, I have given this specific equations i want to have to discuss the nature of the roots of the given equations is this clear good and then let me solve the next question number 14 for what positive values of m roots of the equations are equal distinct and imaginary i have given two equations so what if we are going to substitute in place of m then the roots will become equal and roots will become distinct and the roots will become imaginary you need to find what is the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals 0 if b square minus 4ac is equals to 0 then what is the nature we call it as if b square minus 4ac is less than 0 then what is the nature we call that as next number 16 find the value of k for which the quadratic equation 9x square minus 24x plus k equals 0 has equal roots as you can see they have given the condition that the roots are equal in case if the roots are equal then what is the value of k for the given equation for what value of k the equation kx square plus 6x plus 1 equals 0 has equal roots in place of k what if you substitute then the roots will become equal you need to find the value of k similarly find the value of p for which the quadratic equation has equal roots okay so what in case if you are going to substitute again in place of p the roots will become equal I have given three equations, three different equations are given here. I want you need to try with this all the three options. Next, what is the value of k? If the quadratic equation x square plus 4x plus of k plus 2 is equals to 0 has one root equal to 0. As we know that if you are going to solve any equations, any quadratic equations, we get two roots. But here the condition is they have given one root value is 0, then what is the another root value? you need to find what is the other root value next number 20 if the roots of the equation b minus c into x square plus c minus a into x plus a minus b is equals to 0 are equal then prove that 2b is equals to a plus c already they have given that this specific equation the roots are equal in case if the roots are equal then you have to prove that 2b is equals to a plus c okay I hope this class is interesting and the questions which you have given, it's very, very important. Do not miss any of these questions, okay, as these questions directly, it may implies in your examination. So I want you have each and every student, the one who is watching this video, I want you have to go through these all the questions. I hope the class is interesting. If the class is interesting and the questions are, if you do feel as important, okay and the sessions what we have done till now if you feel as an important for all of our videos do not forget to click the like button and share as much as possible with your all friends let they also get an idea before they could face the exam to ensure how is their preparation is going on comment below how was this class and what video you want to make me next take care wish you all the best of luck see you soon